welcome back friends mm, uh, welcome to the video series on design of steel structural elements in the example number 2 uh, we have seen that uh, there is an angle is 65 by 65 by 6 connected to the gusset plate 8 mm thick and in example number 2 we have designed only the longitudinal weld now in this example we will uh, uh, design the longitudinal weld along with that we will also provide the transverse weld now this example will clearly show us that if we use a longitudinal and a transverse weld combination we can save the gusset plate length so we will see that uh, we will use the same example uh, that is example number 2 so now uh, the load for which I have to design this uh, weld is already we have calculated so that is coming out to be that is PU One seventy kilometer, right? So this PU is one seventy kilonewton, right? Okay. So now what I will do here is, uh, I will provide the transverse weld first. First, let me provide the transverse weld. Now here you can see that the length of the transverse weld is equal to sixty five mm, right? So I have provided first the transverse weld which is of length 65 mm. Now here uh, I have also found out that the size of weld that I am going to use is 4 mm. That is from the previous example. Now I know the size of weld, I know the length of weld. I can easily calculate what is the total load that can be carried by this 65 mm length transverse weld. Okay. So I will find out load. carried by 65 mm length transverse weld sixty five mm length transverse weld so to do this mm, first I need to find out what is the load carried by 1 mm length fillet weld so that is LE multiplied by this is the effective throat thickness multiplied by the ultimate tensile strength of the weld divided by root 3 into 1.25 since it is a shop weld. So this is this term gives me the load carried by 1 mm length fillet weld multiplied by so the total length of weld that I am providing is 65. So this I am getting out to be 34.8 kN. So this 65 mm length weld will carry a load of 34.8 kN out of this 170 kN. Therefore remaining load which will be carried by the longitudinal weights will be equal to 170 that is the total load minus the load carried by the transverse weight so this is coming out to be 135.2 135.2 kN so the longitudinal weights will carry a load of 135.2 kN only so now I will calculate what is the total okay uh, before that uh, let me show that this let this be the L1 length weld and let this be the L2 length weld now I will find out the relation between L1 and L2 so to do that I have already uh, shown in the previous example so that is the total weld length required to carry okay not 170 kilometer now 
but it is 135.2 kN because out of 170 kN, 34.8 kN is already taken care by the transverse weld. So the longitudinal welds should carry only 170 minus 34.8, that is 135.2. So this is nothing but L1 plus L2. So it is 135.2 into 10 raised to 3 newtons divided by. So this term comes out to be something around 535.5 newtons. So I'm getting out to be 250. 3 millimeters okay so l1 plus l2 is 253 millimeters now let me find out find out either l1 or l2 now here uh, i will take once again the moment of all the forces about the toe so if i do that so the stress in the weld is 189.4 multiplied by the area so area consists of the effective throat thickness multiplied by L1. So this is the stress multiplied by the uh, area gives me the force multiplied by the perpendicular distance which is 65. Okay. Now here I also need to consider the contribution of transverse weld. So the load that carried that is carried by the transverse weld is 34.8 34.8 that I will convert into newtons multiplied by 65 by 2 that is 32.5 that is the perpendicular distance because the f force in this transverse weld will be acting exactly at the center so the perpendicular distance will be 65 divided by 2 so this uh, should be equal to I'm not taking care of this L2 because that will auto automatically gets cancelled out so this is equal to 170 into 10 raised to 3 newtons multiplied by 46.9 so if I solve this I'm getting L1 value as 190 7 millimeters and I know the relation between L1 and L2 so I can find L2 as 56 millimeters you can see from the previous example uh, we got L1 and L2 much more than these values but here we got lesser values so obviously it is very logic that uh, the values of L1 and L2 are small so the there will be a saving in the length of the cassette plate so L1 is 197 56 and this is 65 okay so this is how uh, this calculation shows how to find out the how to design the weld when we have to provide both longitudinal and transverse weld. Hope you understood. We'll see uh, with one more type of example in the next video. Till then, bye. Thank you.